Hey guys, what's up? It's Guy Frost here. So basically in this video, I'm just going to show you how I contour and like what products I use. So yeah, let's get started. Hey guys, it's me again. Well, to start off, we're going to use this primer by e.l.f. And it's a drugstore product, so it's very simple to use and very cheap to afford. So we're just going to apply it on our finger and we don't need that much. So it just depends on how much you want to add. So we're just going to apply it over the cheekbones, get a little bit more, and just apply it on the nose, top of the forehead, over of the upper lip. And this is basically to smooth out the skin so there's no bumps, no acne showing, no cracks against the makeup, it won't get clumped, nasty. So just apply it and then make sure to spread around the creases so you know you're getting a very smooth face. To start off, we're going to use the 120 Classic Ivory, and this is a Fit Me Stick by Maybelline, and I love this product to death, oh my god. This is a very good product, and it's a drugstore, so you can easily buy at Target, things like that. It's a very cheap pill for it. It's only about, like, I would say around $8, maybe? And it's a, I would highly pay for it, so basically we're just going to apply it to the forehead, to the top of the nose, over the cheekbones, on the upper lip, and you it's very important to highlight the most important features of your face. And the next step of contouring, we're going to apply the 355 Coconut, and this is the Fit Me Stick by Maybelline. This is basically to make in the creases, Darken the edges of your face. We're just going to apply this over under the cheekbones and just apply where you want it dark the most to shade in and to compress the face. On the bridge of the nose, under the chin, just to really sell that darkness around the face. So once you have it drawn on, what basically you draw is the highlight of the frontal face and then around the edges is to darken what you wanted to in the depth of the face. So what you're going to want is a real technique brush and it must be a flat top so it creates a very smooth blended kind of area. So what you're going to really want to do is blend, blend, blend until it basically when your arm gets very tired because that's what I do. It's a very good trick to use. Just blend as much as you can and you'll see the results are very great. So you're going to start off in the front of, of the forehead down to the bridge of the nose. Just get it in the really good crease around the cheekbones. Actually, I should say the top of the cheekbones. Just really get in there. Just blend all the way. And then around the lip area, just get a really good plan there so it won't be all drawn on, you can say. And then the other side. And it should come out like a very beautiful blended kind of area way, so. And the bottom of your lower jaw. And this will create a more subtle highlight tone so your cheeks will look more depth inside and your jaw will be popped out so it will just be like a more creased in kind of highlight tone to the cheekbones so once you're done blending the highlight portion of your face we're gonna take a real technique brush in contouring and it's more of a good brush to use it's very very good and it's more like an oval shape instead of just a flat and this which basically you can use is gonna shade in and blend very good in the depth of your face so we're gonna start with the cheekbones here and just basically blending and smoothing in the rough patches we have of the dark shaded area you're gonna really want to get into the crease so instead of making a harsh line we're making a smooth, most blended area. 
You want to do that for both sides of the nose. And just work your way, just blend, blend, blend. Once you have a good subtle blend, just smooth out the rest of the areas of the frontal face. I mean, this technique is really not easy, guys. It's very simple if you apply it, but it just it takes practice to do. So you're just going to want to blend really good. Make sure each sides are exactly alike. Or if you guys want like a weird face shaped, then don't make them alike. That's your choice. You can't forget about under the jawline, which is like about like 20 to 5 minutes just to settle the makeup in, but it doesn't take that long. We're going to want to make it even. just depends on what you like and what your facial structure is. So the next step, I'm going to use my 6 foundation palette. And I bought this at Amazon actually, which is very cheap, around 14 bucks. And I'm using my regular fan brush, and I'm not sure what company it's from, but I'm taking the most darkest color, and I'm going to use this kind of, it's a very small brush, so it's not very too difficult to add. So I'm going to first blend it in, and then apply it onto the cheekbones to really get that depth color to darken, and to highlight those cheekbones most likely to bring, push in more subtle of, of your face. Really adding, applying it, and I'm moving downwards, and I'm really applying it to the most cheekbones and the front of nose, the sides to give it that really depth in side of the nose. To bring in the frontal of the bridge, the outer corners of my face, just to give it some depth pushed in so it can highlight more of the frontal area of the face. Then I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 125 in Nude Beige. And this is just to add more shimmer and more glow to the highlighted portion of your face. So I'm just going to use just basically a regular powder elf complex brush. And this is just around like $3 the brush and $6 for the Fit Me Foundation. And you're just going to apply it very gently and you're just going to really smooth in the highlight portion of your face so it won't look so more, you can say, pale. So it's just going to make a highlight tone. It's going to look very beautiful once you're finished. Just apply it to the mouth area, to the highlight portion of your cheek, under your cheekbones. We can't forget about that. And then to the top of the forehead to add some shimmer and to the bridge of the nose. It's just, it's not very complex. It's very simple to add on. It's just basically regular foundation. So what basically we're doing, we're edging the nose so it won't look too in-depth. So we're just basically adding a portion of a little foundation in. So basically that is it. That is all the things I use to really get that liquor store kind of cheap products and it's very subtle look it's kind of takes practice and really etch in the face and it makes highlight pops out from the frontal to the edges under your cheekbones and it really gets a good subtle glow to the front and to the cheekbones makes the cheekbones glow pop out it's very good to use so make sure you guys check this out it's a uh, fit me 125 foundation it's in glow and it's a very good product, so thank you guys for watching. I love you, mwah, and hope you guys like it. So please comment, like, dislike, or just things like that. So thank you, and I'll see you guys later. Please subscribe. Love you.